All right, so here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and start putting together our new application here, the Wait on Planet X application. Now, this is running from previous build that I created, but now we're going to do all of these from scratch. So what I'm going to do here, what I did rather, I went ahead and created a new project. You should know how to do that right now. So go ahead and create a new project. Name it whatever you want, but if you want to be consistent, go ahead and name it Wait on planet just like I did here all right and as you know by now just gonna delete everything from here why because we just know how to get things started I'm gonna go ahead and put our import here that we love material I'm gonna say void main I'm gonna entry point here I'm gonna call the run app I'm gonna pass a new material app which allows us to pass here a title I'm gonna call this titled wait on planet X All right and for our home component here it's gonna be new home which we haven't created yet but fear not we shall do all of that okay so what I'm gonna do now is let's go ahead and delete a few things that we don't quite need here all right and the libraries this thing is good and because we're gonna add an image let's go ahead and set things up before we forget so I'm gonna go to the project level right click say new new directory call this images there we go and I'm gonna add an image that I have okay so here we go the image that we're gonna be using is going to be this planet here I'm gonna copy this go back here in our image man V and there we go I should have here the image we click look at that okay so we have our image nothing new here you remember that in order for us to invoke uh, the assets folder in this case the images folder we need to change a few things in our pub spec YAML folder file so we go down here I'm gonna go ahead oops I'm going to call assets. Oops, oops, oops. Too many mistakes. Assets, enter. And I'm going to go ahead and say images. Call this planet.png. Enter and save. And see, looks like we have an issue. It says error on line 32, which means there, column 5 of exported a key while parsing a block mapping let's see it does that all the time okay let's go there we go save now and okay everything looks great okay let's go back here we still have that error here because we haven't created our home okay so that's what I'm gonna be doing now also inside of our lib I'm gonna right click send new directory and I'm gonna call this UI. This is where I'm gonna put our home file. I'm gonna call this home. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and import material as such. And I'm gonna go ahead and say class, create a class, call this home, which is going to extend a stateful widget because we need to extend stateful, not stateless. And for that to work, obviously, we have to override one method here, which is this one, create space, I mean, create state. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just going to go ahead and return, because it has to return a state type, new home state, which we haven't created yet. All right, I'm going to use help here from our IntelliJ IDE. I'm going to create this one here, okay? Okay, so this will extend state, which will then pass here our home. All right, and of course, it always does this. Not sure why, but I'm gonna go back and delete all of that and delete this as well. Put it over. There we go. All right, we gotta do the same thing here. Override. This is our build, which allows us to actually build a new canvas or a new widget which will sh 
show on the screen. Here I'm going to say return new scaffold. And a scaffold, of course, we can pass in app bar. I'm going to say new app bar. And our app bar, app bar will have a title for new text. I'm going to give it a title of weight on planet X and such. And I'm going to center the title. So I'm going to say true. I'm going to give it a background color here. I'm going to say colors dot black 38. So it's going to look like exactly like this. Remember, this is from a previous build. In fact, let me go ahead and delete, get rid of this so that we don't end up uh, getting confused there. All right, so we have all of that. So now if we save this and go back to our main here, all we have to do is, of course, import our user interface. So dot forward slash UI, and we want home dot dart. And there we go. All right, so we are indeed in business. So what I'm going to do now, once we save, then make sure we have you either either Android emulator or iOS, whichever you want. Just click Run. We should be able to see in a second here to the right our app running. Take a few seconds because it's the first time. All right, so so looks like we have a lot of issues. Say semicolon, where did I miss the semicolon? Let's go back to home. Sure, we have missed the semicolon as such. We'll have to reload. And as you can see, there we go. Okay, see, looks very nice. It's weight on Planet X. Very cool, very cool. So now the next thing we need to do is to actually uh, give it a background color for the whole body. So I'm going to go outside here. So I'm now outside of the app bar. So I'm going to be inside here. I'm going to say background color. I'm going to also give it the same color that I gave. In fact, I'm going to say blue gray. I think that's appropriate. If you save, it's going to hot reload. And ooh, I like that. Okay, so it's starting to look real good. Again, you can play around with these colors, but I kind of like this color. Very cool. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to add the, the body of our scaffold here. Which I'm going to put a new container. Go ahead and close these so we have more space. In fact, I can just snap that one there. So it's going to be a new container. And for our new container here, what are we going to pass is, first of all, alignment. I want the alignment to be alignment to be top center. So I'm going to say dot top center such. And then I'm going to, of course, invoke the child property here. I'm going to pass a list view for because I want this, if need be, to be able to scroll up and down if we have a lot of things on our screen. Okay, just a little trick here. Perfect. So for our list view, I'm going to give it a padding. So constant here. I'm going to say edges. Inset all. So this is going to give padding to everything around our list view. I'm going to say about 2.5. Okay. And remember, you always have to pass a double. And for children, remember, we inside of list view, we can add as many children as we want. So the first child is going to be our logo or icon at the top here. So I'm going to say new image from the assets right and we know we can just say images forward slash planet dot png and we can go ahead if we want to add a few properties here i'm going to say height the height is going to be let's say 133 and zero again this is all predefined i know all right so uh 200.0 for the width Okay, let's save this and see if something is going to work. Ah, voila. Again, this is the beauty of working with Flutter uh, and the hot reload. If you save or you can just click on this hot reload button here and then it will just go ahead and hot reload your application so you can see the changes that you're making. It's very, very, very handy. So we have our image there that looks very nice. Next thing we need to do is to add a text field. So what I'm going to do to simplify our design here, I'm actually going to 
go ahead and say new container here's another container here I'm gonna go ahead and say give it a margin I'm gonna use constant of course and edge insets here insets of about 3.0 okay give it a little margin here I'm gonna give it an alignment of alignment center I'm gonna give the child property here it's gonna be a column Inside of column, as you know, we can actually add children of type widgets. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and add our first widget here, which is going to be our text field. I'm going to say new text field. Look at that the beauty. And for each text field, we have to pass a controller. Okay. For now, I'm just going to add a null, and I'm going to pass in a keyboard type. I'm going to say text input. Right, because I want to make sure that whenever they hit this text field, I want the text or the keyboard to show only numbers. So if you go and say dot, there's a lot of options. So we can uh, show text, number, and so many other things. I'm going to go with numbers for now. Right, and I'm going to go ahead and invoke the decoration because we want to call the new input decoration widget which allows us to decorate our text field. So the first thing I'm going to do, label text. I want it to say your weight on earth. And then I want to say hint text. I want it to say in pounds. And then icon. I'm going to add an icon because we can say new icon. I'm going to pass the icons there. I'm going to find person outline that always seems to look good and you can see to the left here it shows exactly the icon that we are invoking all right so that's really good the next thing I want to do let's save this to give us our instant gratification look at that it says your weight you click look at that and it shows number the reason why the keyboard is all numbered well because we said here text input type to be number very cool look how easy this was right so we are literally halfway through our application here in the next video what we're going to do is we are going to add radio buttons at the bottom here which will allow users to select either option either pluto or mars or venus and so forth and at the bottom of course we're going to have our text which will be populated once we select either of the planets here all right so we're getting there perfect i'll see you in the next video